Hello, my friends. We continue our grading tutorials. Last time we graded this very nice footage with a Russian actress Karina Razumovskaya. And today we continue and I want to show you how to make this footage, how to make it more cinematic. Let's again try to start with this clip. So this is what we've done before. This is this was the before and that was after our initial grade. Now let's make a compound clip. Just not to change something here. Create a compound clip. And now we want to make this footage cinematic. I add two notes uh, and the last one. I will apply the film look. Oh, sorry, that was not the one I wanted. So we will apply the film look. I will apply Rec 709 Kodak 2383 D55. And you see the image starts to pop out. Here we have a look at our exposure using false colors. We see that we have now, after applying this look, this 3D LUT, we have more exposure on her skin tones uh, and that is actually looking more cinematic plus we have more really really more contrast but I think this is too much that's why I will go to the key and make it something like 0.65 so this is the before and this is after and it's already looking very very nice Maybe we try to make it a little bit less saturated. So let's change the saturation to minus minus five, the before and the after, maybe too much. And then we also, actually it's too contrasty, so we go to our curves and start to push the blacks up until the blacks are not clipped. I think this is the point for the blacks and we do the same with whites. So we do something like something like that is okay. We see at our false colors and now nothing is clipping except this maybe this area so let's try to make it like that now our skin tones lay from 45 to let's say 65 maybe 70 and this is super cinematic. We disable our false colors and again we check the before and the after. Now it's looking just fantastic. Another thing we need to do is to make a small vignette to draw the attention to our main item on this shot. So I make a power window. Let me zoom a little bit, zoom out. And I make very, very soft and subtle like that. And I turn this power window to draw attention to her face, to her eyes. I invert the mask 
and push the gamma down to make the background more dark. And now we can I will probably make it a little bit larger for you to see. So this is the before and this is after. And if I compound all these nodes together now this is the before and this is after. And the last thing we do is we apply the output blanking to make it 9 by 6 ratio. And now this is just gorgeous. The before and the after. Before and after. Maybe it's a little bit too much. And I'll go to the key and make it something like 0 0.95, 0 0.85 maybe. Yeah, before and after. Now we delete this false calls plugins. Plugin, we don't need it anymore. And then let's copy this node, this compound node, and let's go to another clip. Let's try this one. And we just add another node and copy. Ah, oh, it's not copied. Okay. Okay, so what we do then? We go to gallery. Uh, delete this compound node. And grab our steel with our film look. Grab still. And then we go to this node. Oh, we chose that one. And we drag our film look to the last. I'll make, let's make it this way. We delete this one and add everything in the end. Now we add our film look and bum! It is really, really, really nice. Let's have a look full screen, the before and the after. Maybe here the shadows are too crushed. So let's show the compound node and let's bring our shadows up. Something like that. Before. Before this is the before. And now this is after. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's create another node. I'll also make a compound node out of that. Add a new node and apply our film look. This is the before and this is after. It's just gorgeous. Before and after. We see improvements in skin tones. After applying the film look, we see more contrast. And by the way, here I need to add, we need to change our, yeah, I forgot it, we need to change our mask. Here it is like that, uh, arm, face, the before and after. And in this node, 
on this node. This is our mask. And we make it this way. Before and the after. You see subtle effect of vignette makes everything look much much better. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. It was a great tutorial how to make a film look using DaVinci Resolve 14. Thank you.